hello guys welcome back to the channel it simplified this video is number two in continuation of the last one that i made in which i showed you how you can take a snapshot of your virtual machine running within azure portal in today's demonstration i'll show you how you can utilize that snapshot to restore that uh, virtual machine so just recap in our last uh, uh, video i created a resource group with the name snapshot rg and in that we have a uh, snapshot of our data disk uh, of the virtual machine running with the name file server tdfs to be specific so let me just go back to the virtual machine this is the virtual machine that we use uh, tdfs it is running within the resource group tdrg1 so let me just do this way let me just go to my resource group with the name tdrg1 in which that virtual machine is and uh, the snapshot that we took of the uh, data disk was fs disk one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to completely delete this and to see how you can utilize that uh, snapshot to restore back so select fs disk one and click on delete it will ask you for the confirmation so say yes and uh, delete So the data disk was uh, deleted. So if I go to virtual machine, I should not be seeing that uh, FS disk one. So let me expand my server, go under disk, and you'll see that it's gone. So let's see now how we can restore that. So what you're gonna do is click on add data disk. You will give the LAN number, whatever you want. And in the name, you will see you have the option of create a disk. So you're going to go to create disk. And uh, we'll give the name. It's going to be FS disk one restore under the resource group. You can either create a new or you can put that in the existing. Now, in order to keep that simple, I want to keep that in the same resource group under which my virtual machine is, which is TDRG1. Uh, and uh, under the account kind, I can either choose a premium or a HDD, which is standard. I'm going to pick a standard. And uh, under the source type, which is the most important step in this, you see you have the option of snapshot. That is what we took in our last video. So you're going to pick snapshot if you're creating for the first time any data disk, you're going to pick a non-empty disk but in this case we are trying to restore from the snapshot that we took so you're going to pick that and the source snapshot you see that's the snapshot one that we took so you're going to pick that and it will automatically pick the size which is 10 gig in our case and you click on create Okay, so the validation was done and as you can see that uh, uh, the data disk has appeared over here. So it's still it is not uh, uh, completed. What you have to do is that you have to make sure that you click on the save button. So I'm going to click on save. And you will see we have successfully updated the virtual machine by utilizing the snapshot which we took on last video. Now I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.